here set calculations and then we have the matplotlib which is used for visualization using charts and graphs and we have also included keras which is a which can be considered as an advanced version of helping toolkit for tensor and from keras.layers module we have included the tense class on the class max to be dropout and padding class from keras dot models we have included sequential model as we using that and from keras dot version we have included image class so we take from here so after uh, importing all the libraries these libraries are like predefined functions now the, all the logics are already there in the libraries so using these libraries i have generated i have generated the data set and uh, if i run this one let me run this one as well and then i'll show you that whenever i'll run this one this is in my dropbox folder the actual data set is in my dropbox folder there are almost uh, presently there are uh, almost 224 or 260 images but uh, i have again uh, got a new data set and i'm reprocessing the data set using the preprocessing portion uh, i'm like importing almost 5000 images so after like one week or after two week we will be having a really great data set where there will be almost 5000 data set so this uh, data set is now imported here and after importing the data set i'll be unzipping the data set here the data set will be unzipped and then i have i have specified the data set in such a way that there are two folders one fo one folder is for uh, covid and another folder is for normal inside the covid and inside the normal folder there are both like uh, training folder and testing and you can see the training folder and testing folder inside the training folder covid and normal images are provided and inside the validation folder <coughs> the images are provided uh, we have provided the images so let me present any of the image right right now so this one is the image of any text text right from the covid part so this is the entire image and we will not be able to see the entire image because it is too large and then we have added some layers uh, the very basic deep learning model we have used sequential model and there are some layers like convolutional layer and pooling layer then we have again added dropout layer and we have done this several times to get the proper accuracy and when i am now uh, when just wait a minute let me close this one yeah so when i'm seeing the summary when i'm visualizing the summary you can see all the number of parameters are increasing continuously the number of parameters are increasing so we can Uh, we can conclude that yeah, our model is performing well. Uh, like the parameters are increasing, so the number of neurons are increasing in this way. And then we have specified some epochs. There are ten epochs in total, and in every epoch there are total eight steps. We have also specified the validation steps. We have also specified the validation data as as our test data, because on the test data we will be performing uh, that that uh, applications. And because our data set is too small, and in during these epochs. we have received one uh, accurate validation accuracy as one that is 100% accurate so this is due to our data set is too small like 224 images is not really enough for uh, calculating the actual accuracy but uh, we have also received 96% accuracy in the in overall accuracy so when we will be adding more images like 5000 to 6000 images this model will uh, if at that time as well the model is producing one validation accuracy so we can conclude our model is performing really well so and then i have imported for testing the model i have simply imported uh, just the path of any image from right here i have imported, imported the path of just like copy path and then i tested it right here then what we have done is we have uh, used the if the class index is zero then this is covid positive and the class index is one then it is covid uh, negative that is normal image so in this way the logic has been developed about the and the table Deep learning models logic has been given. So after that, what we have done that will be discussed by my other team members. And some of you will as as well as discuss the pre-processing of our data. That how we have actually pre-processed the data. So can we continue to the slide? Uh, actually, so we have basically developed the web application using the Flask module. These are certain libraries we have used CV2 for. Uh, image processing flask for web application framework and so on so i'll just explain the important portions only so here we are initializing the flask object using uh, this function in this case underscore underscore name represents the name of the application package now the second important portion here is app dot route 
So here basically we are mapping the URL to a specific function that will handle the logic for that particular URL. Now this function is named as index. Here we are rendering the template using render template function and this is the template image classification index HTML. I am straight away going to this template. There are many portions here but the most important part for our COVID detection is form. The form that we have created. So in this form the action is upload image. We have used method as post, encryption type as multipart form data. Now here we are taking the input, input type as file because we want to upload the image. So for that we need to take file and we are just using a submit button to upload the image. Now coming back here. So basically once the user uploads the image, this particular route will be called. Now here we are defining a function upload image. If request dot method equals to equals to post, then the image that we will be receiving is stored in file dot file name. Then we are calling the predict covid function and here is the function. So basically here we are loading the model and I have already loaded the mo model here in H5 format. So then I am compiling the model. Now these are some of the uh, resizing and reshaping of the uh, image that we need to do in order to uh, in also that our uh, model runs perfectly. Next we are directly predicting if predicting using the image we have received and just rounding off and all and final output is if the class is zero that means COVID positive else it is normal. So this output we are receiving here in label and directly rendering another template that is image classification result. I am straight away just showing you here that uh, here we are displaying the result, the, the answer, the variable name which we have received from there. Now I will just run the app and show you the working. So this is basically our front end. We have your home page about preventions and this is our main portion COVID-19 detection. So here is about our team members and finally contact us. I will just show you the working portion. So basically we have to choose the file. I have already made a folder COVID and normal. I am choosing a file from COVID suppose this one. And once we upload, we will be re redirected to this page and it will show the result COVID positive. Again, suppose I go to detect COVID and I will upload an image from normal. And it will show normal. So this is all about the front end portion we have made. The next portion will be discussed by Tushar and Samudhi. Uh, so, this is the app I have created, PF test. So, this is a very skeleton kind of app, I mean, not a proper UI or something. So, if I click on the button, then the gallery will show up. And from here, I have made two folders, COVID and normal. So, if I choose something from COVID, here I have to mention something, like zero represents COVID and one represents normal. So if the value comes very close to 0, that means the person is COVID positive and if the value comes near to 1, that means the person is normal. So if I select from COVID folder and suppose I am selecting this photo, it is showing 0 0.23 which is closer to 0. So it means there is a 23.43% uh, chance that this person is, uh, sorry, I mean 1 minus 23.43% chance that this person is COVID positive. Similarly, well, if, if we again click on this button and select from normal, and suppose I am selecting this one, it is showing 0 0.99. That means 
99.46% chance that the person is normal. So these were created till now and improvements are on the way.